blessing and persecution. We're going to read in the Bible, 1 Peter chapter 4, 12 through 14. Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of God rest upon you. On their part, he is blasphemed, but on your part, he is glorified. Although we certainly do not feel blessed when we're insulted and prosecuted, Jesus said that we are, in fact, blessed. Matthew 5.11 the Lord's pros perspective on prosecution differs from ours. He considers it a positive thing. If we suffer in His name, persecution is good for several reasons. It provides our faith. The only way we can know the capability of our faith is by means of testing. When we preserve through a trial, we begin to understand that we can remain steadfast and obedient in the midst of a challenge. We also learn the magnitude of God's strength to support us through prosecution. If it purifies our life, persecution snaps our attention away from meaningless things and onto the Lord. We are driven into His arms by suffering as we grow closer to Him. He'll bring to our awareness wrong attitudes and actions some related to our trial and some